Hard to believe it was 30 years ago. Jerry Richardson gets awarded the Carolina Panthers. Here we are now in Indianapolis for the NFL Combine. We'll come from Carla Gebhardt. This is Charlotte Sports Live. But of course, all of our thoughts back with the Richardson family and everybody involved in the franchise because what we're doing today, what we talk about almost every single night on Charlotte Sports Live, wouldn't even be possible without the big cat. Yeah, a big moment in Carolina history. I mean, not many NFL teams around. Fans were, uh, you know, fans of the Washington team and mm -hmm. they were obviously the Atlanta Falcons nearby, but now the Carolina Panthers are in existence because of him and, and that's what you remember most. Listen, so, so many owners bring championships and whatever it may be to their city. Jerry Richardson brought an entire franchise. He changed the landscape of sports in the Carolinas. He gave them an NFL team. The most popular sport in all of America exists in the Carolinas because of Jerry Richardson and so many players, Mike, absolutely loved the man. Well, they sure did, and thank you guys. We will check back with you in a little bit. And yes, the Combine is the focus across the NFL, but here in the QC, it is on that man. Jerry Richardson, who, as Will and Carla just said, brought the Panthers here to Carolina. Welcome into the Charlotte Sports Live studio game. McDonald alongside Michael said Richardson, not just known here in Charlotte, but across the Carolinas as a whole. He will always be the guy that brought the black and the blue to the QC, but his legacy is bigger than that, according to those who knew him best. Jake DeLome was down. DeLome on second down. There it is, number five. It was 2009, and the Panthers had just lost in a divisional playoff game to Arizona. Back in his home state of Louisiana, DeLome was sulking over the loss when one day he got a surprise phone call from then Panthers owner Jerry Richardson. He said, hey, it's me. And his voice was pretty easily recognizable. And I said, yes, sir. He says, is it sunny at your house? I said, yes, sir, it is. Well, it's sunny at my house also. Get over it. The sun came up. Have a good day. And that was it. And that was, that was Mr. Richardson. The former Panthers leader died Wednesday at 86. Even though Richardson had been experiencing health problems over the years, DeLone was hit hard by the news. But he wasn't the only one. And he wasn't the only one that saw that side of his old boss. I owe him a debt that I'll, I'll never be able to repay. That's former voice of the Panthers, Mick Mixon. Kick off straight down the middle. Who remains grateful to Richardson, not only for giving him his big break with the franchise, but also for keeping him employed. You recall the number of times that Richardson would stop by, not to criticize his work, but just to say hello. He never one time called me into the principal's office. He gave us, he put faith and trust in us to do our job and then gave us the resources that we needed to do it. Though Richardson left the Panthers in less than ideal circumstances in 2018, both men kept in touch with him. And while he was no longer their boss, he remained an important figure in their lives. I know that one of the last things I received, gosh, it might have been two years ago, it was a handwritten note and it, it was, you could tell it was his handwriting because it was very distinct, but you can tell, uh, you know, some, some health issues might have taken over. Gone but not forgotten. It was the case five years ago when Richards consoled the team, and it remains that way now more than ever. We would not be doing our jobs, uh, as we'll, we'll check out reaction pouring in on social media all evening from uh, former Panthers. Ron Rivera treating his condolences to the Richardson family and thanking Jerry for the opportunity to coach Carolina. Jonathan Stewart saying, we lost a good one today. Rest in peace, Jerry Richardson. Thankful that he bet on me. And Thomas Davis posting a long message on Instagram, uh, thanking the Panthers' original owner for believing him. As I was saying, we would not be doing our jobs if we did not mention his departure from the team following some inappropriate behavior. But, but back to him, right. what I thought was interesting in talking to many of the guys that knew him today, yep. nobody could say for sure if he still followed the Panthers after his departure. One thing we do know is that he still kept in touch with a lot of the players, and that says a lot about his character. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, just, you know, all the guys that he took a chance on. I mean, you look at Jonathan Stewart, Thomas Davis, Cam Newton with a very long tribute. They had a really good relationship. Just those guys that he really was able to, you know, change their lives to the better. And I think that's one of the things that they will always be remembered, but um, certainly a legacy. And just the fact that he brought football here to the Carolinas, he's always going to be remembered for that. And he'll definitely uh, left quite a legacy here in the Carolinas for sure.